Well, sociologist, Dr. Mark Rignaris, you can answer this question better than just about anybody I know of. And that is, is the age of marriage changing? We know it is, right? I mean, mm -hmm. people are getting married later in life than they used to. Can you give us those numbers and right. tell us a little bit, why is that happening? Right. Uh, yeah, uh, we're at historically high ages, uh, average age for marriage in the United States today. It's 28 for women, 30 for men. Those are medians, meaning sort of half of the people would marry at that or later age and half at that age or before. Um, and that is a significant leap from 1950 to 1960 when it bottomed out around 21 for women and 22 and a half to 23 for men. But even before then, back to when we started keeping records in the census in as early as 1890, I mean, that was when it was back in sort of the middle 20s uh, in terms of the timing of marriage. So why has this occurred? Well, lots of different reasons, some of which have to do with what we expect from marriage. We have a lot higher expectations of it than previously. Um, the criteria for marriageability has, has expanded dramatically. Um, and the mentality for how we think about, you know, when is one supposed to do this in the life yeah. course has, has shifted away from thinking of marriage as a foundation. You know, you do that when you're in your young adult years, uh, right. to a, uh, a capstone while this is the, the t icing on the cake of a well-lived young adulthood such that you have to almost earn the right to marry, both in your own mind and in the minds of people around you. So that's the primary yeah. reasons why it has risen so high. And you, let's move back just for a quick moment on those expectations. What is one of those fundamental expectations that has changed to propel this delay of marriage for younger people today? Right. Well, now there's this common assumption that everybody needs uh, higher education and lots of it. Uh, even though there's some pushback against that today because maybe the job market can't handle all that. Uh, so there's this idea that I have to push that to the back burner. That's for the late 20s after I have accomplished A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yeah. And then at that point, then I can look at myself and think, ah, I've, I'm the package. Right. I can I can look around and marry now rather than yeah. sort of think of marriage as sort of like, well, I'm, I'm entering this with somebody who shares my same values, etc., and we can build something together, even in our younger years, experience poverty, achievements, children. Instead, we're pushing marriage right up to the, to butt up against the age at which um, ideal fertility uh, age starts to, to, to drop, right? So yeah. that's kind of a problem um, if you think about like, the reproduction of, of society. But most people don't yeah. you know, think about that anymore. Well, as a true sociologist, you study those trends. And it's so helpful for us to know, those of us that are marriage champions on the front lines with these couples, to realize that mentality. It's a valuable thing as we go into this process of, of helping couples prepare for lifelong love. So thank you for your insights. You're welcome. Really appreciate it. <laughs>